Creating a network between your PCs makes it easier for them to share resources. But how can you share some files over your network while keeping others private? Your solution is called a home group. It's a way of networking that lets every PC in the house share the files nearly everybody wants to share, like music, movies, and photos. Once you set up a home group, Windows automatically begins sharing those items. To set up a new home group, pull up the Charms bar, click the Settings icon, and then click Change PC Settings. Click the Home Group category and click either Create or Join. If you see the Join option, somebody has already created a home group on your network. To join it, type in the home group's existing password and click the Join button. Whether you click Join or Create, Windows asks what you'd like to share. To share an item, slide its toggle switch to the right by either clicking or touching it. To keep items private, keep their switch to the left. Sharing a folder simply lets other people access that folder's files, view the pictures, or watch a video, for example. They won't be able to change or delete anything. If you click the Create button to create a home group, write down the password listed at the bottom of the screen. You'll need to enter it into each PC you want to include in your home group. When you create or join a home group, you're choosing what libraries to share only from your own account. If other account holders on that PC also want to share their libraries, they'll also need to visit their PC's Change PC Settings area, choose the home group category, and choose which libraries they want to share. Once other PCs join your home group, you can begin to browse their files. To find a PC on your home group or traditional network, open any folder and look at the bottom of the navigation pane along the folder's left edge. Click Home Group in the Navigation pane to see a list of other Windows PCs in your home group. Click Network to see every PC that's connected to your own PC in a traditional, but more difficult to set up, network. The Network section is the only way to access files on computers running Windows XP as they're too old for the new home group system. To browse files on any of those PCs in either category, just double-click their names.